What's going on, people? It's another beautiful day in LA, man. Y'all know we got Cuzzo in the building, but I got another special guest today, man. This man is an OG in the foodie game out here, man. I was watching this fella right here before I even started doing content, man. He's up, down, he's all around town, man. We got Mr. Danny Zion, bro, AKA Mr. Big's Menu, right? For sure, oh, for sure, Alex, man. thank you, thank you for having me, dude. I'm excited to show you a little bit of East LA, dude. Yeah, so, man, look, I couldn't think of nobody better to show me East LA than this man right here, dog. All right, right, you put me on the three spots today, right? We're doing All right, it. so what's up, where are we going, dog? We're going to La Azteca Tortilleria. Yeah. I'm gonna show you some of their famous burritos. You tell the people if it's good or not. Okay, you look, know you know we gotta tell the truth around Alex here, man. Alex real, all right? Yeah. We're gonna let you know. And then we gotta go to Cinco Puntos. Cinco Puntos, okay, okay, of, okay. A little bit of blood in, blood out. El Pino, I'm gonna put you on Cinco Puntos. Famous taco, the chicharron, carnitas. The chicharron, the carnitas. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I gotta I got learn some Spanish today, man. Well, look, dog. I'm hungry. I went to the gym this morning. I ain't ate nothing today. Let's get on to the first spot, baby. I'm gonna know. So what's up, man? Why, why are you bringing me here to this first spot? Besides their burritos. Yeah. Are you are you married? You got a girl? No, no, nah, nah, I ain't okay. married. I don't okay. got no so girl right, right now. You can't leave without taking a pack of tortillas. Yeah. You gonna hook yourself up. Even if you don't like the burritos, their tortillas alone are must try. Really? They're handmade back there. You can literally see all the people in the back getting down. Wow. So, Okay, Burrito, okay, tortilla, I'm excited. Handmade, handmade tortillas. tortillas. If you come here, you gotta leave with a pack of tortillas for your woman, all right? Look, check it out right here, though. Wait, and it's called La Azteca Tortilleria. Torte, wait, say it again? Tortilleria. Besides what everyone always gets, I always like to ask the person, what do you get? Like, if it's your last day here, you're leaving, you can't leave without getting this specific item. What are you grabbing? My favorite thing here would probably be the carnitas. They always go in between like carnitas and chile verde together, oh. or the uh, chile relleno and carnitas. That's really good. You look like you know what you talk about, man. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go with your recommendation, big dog. And this is the burrito, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a burrito. Yeah, cool. I gotta get the, let's do a chile relleno and chorizo. All right, man, so if y'all notice here, by the way, these not, not bad prices, man. Look, 34 bucks, we just ordered 85 things on the menu, man. What was that, like 12 bucks for the burrito? Per taco, you're looking at about, you know, a little over three bucks, man. You know, some good prices so far, man. I got it, I got you, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you man, come on, you taking me hey, on the... Next time you take me to your place, this is my invite. So you in my hood, let's do it. I got you, I got you, I got you. It's on the house. Look at this guy, I got you. Yo, hey, if you see right there, there's like 20 people back there cooking it up back there, man. I don't know, I'm feeling good about this, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive vibes in here, man. Ready. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, all right. We're all set. All set? Thank you. God, man, this looks absolutely insane, bro. Wait, so wait, what did you get right here, bro? What is? That's chorizo and the chile relleno. Look at that, bro. That looks. Oh, and the egg, and egg. And the egg, and the egg. And, egg. egg. and so, the egg, this is breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner, all oh, wrapped up in a tortilla, We're man. we brunch and a burrito. Look, I'm gonna just shut up. I'm talking too much, man. I wanna try this, man. Yes, sir, just like that. Let me see, man. Híjole, híjole. Dude! <laughs> híjole. Dude! Don't mess around, Alex. Don't mess around. God damn! Yo, bro, I'll tell you this, dog. Generally, I don't even really mess with carnitas like that because it be dry. It don't taste like nothing. This is juicy. This is seasoned well. Tastes like, hey, 
It tastes like they cooked this for 37 hours and 40 nights, man. That is crazy, dog. Oh my goodness. That's stew, huh? Jesus Christ. Oof. The green sauce? Where it's at? The green sauce is where it's at, bro. Huh? I'm trying he a little red. Try, he too. said to try the red one too. Which one's spicier? I'm a mixer. There you go. I'm a mixer. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. How's the tortilla? Is it worth the hype? They said, worth it, they, the said hype. they said this place is all hype. I, I don't know, dude. No, they tripping. <laughs> this place is all goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You hogging on the burrito, bro. I gotta try this. Alex is doing East LA right, guys. <laughs> Five. Mm. I might have to move over here, bro. How you say this tastes delicious in Spanish? Está chingón, está bien bueno. Está chingón. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. <laughs> Está chingón, muy bueno. <laughs> for real, for real. Hold on, I gotta try yours, bro. I'm sorry. Mm. In the rancho, do we share everything, dude? Wait, what's the rancho? The rancho is like, you know, where you're from, ah. straight, you know, from the country, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's how we roll. Dude. So, wait, we go eat you? together? We, we, this is as close as we gonna get, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> we eat it hey, together, hey, bro. This, I, is, this is sacred right here, bro. For sure. I do got a question for you, though, man. Like, how'd you even get into like doing content and stuff in the first place, man? I love Mexican food, I love Latinos, I love all that and yeah. back like 10 11 years ago there wasn't really a lot of spotlight on the latino street food scene and i was like dude i grew up in it um so i went out do it for fun uh, my wife left me for two weeks she went to mexico for two oh, okay. weeks she went to mexico for two yeah, she didn't leave me you gotta have some context man <laughs> she went to mexico for two weeks and i don't cook yeah i don't cook at all so uh, she got back, she's like, what'd you do to eat? So dude, I showed her my phone and like, I went everywhere here. And uh, she's like, you should throw it up on Instagram, dude, you know? And one thing led to another. Wow, that's, that's started, crazy, so. man. That's so dope it's to just hear, all for fun. man. That's it, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. It's always been about just going to the local mom and pop shops, Latino owned, and that's kind of what I wanted to spotlight from the beginning. Yeah. And Now you've been doing, you've been here. crushing it, we're man. I mean. This guy is one of the guys I was looking at when I started my page, like, dang, where can I go and what that can I do? Lot, what that can I buzz, lot. man? Mm. That's what's up. But now you're doing your thing, dude. Putting people on mm. and everything, like, too. Moment of silence right there. Oh, the chile relleno. There's cheese in that. Cheese. I've actually never had one of these, bro. Mm. Chili relleno, right? It's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. Uh -oh. Yeah, a lot of time you take the seeds out. Yeah, oh, that's what makes it spicy. Normally, chorizo can be very greasy, dude. You see, even this, like, it'll be dripping through the bag. Yeah, look at that. Quality. Not greasy at all, man. Quality. That's dope. Quality, home style. That's yeah. what I like about this spot, dude. It's just like, I don't feel like I'm eating a big burrito, but it's not like I'm. Yeah. It's just very high quality, homemade. Home style, eats, exactly. Man. That's what you want. That's what you want. When you come to, you know, like a mom and pop shop like this, been around for, I think it's been around since 19, like 40 or 50. Wow. In LA, that's hard, dude. That is super hard. So, a lot of a lot of times people do this at home. So, for someone to go to your business and still support, they're doing something right. Of course, man. They're course. doing something right. That's so. dope, man. Oh, wait. I got some chicharron over here. Are you a fan of chicharron? I'm just mad I didn't get one myself. Yo. Yeah. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> that crunch. It's like pork rinds if they had a little bit more meat on them. You know what I mean? That's fire, dog. Dude, and these yeah, tortillas, man. Handmade. Tastes like somebody's grandma made it. Somebody's mm -hmm. uh, abuela. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you, you invited to the carne asada, dog. You invited. That's dope. I've seen people eating cactus a lot, man, online. I've, that's another thing I've never had, you know? So wait, what's the, uh, uh, how do I say? Taco de nopal. Taco de nopal. Taco. Taco. De. De. Nopal. Nopal. Nopal, cactus. Got it. The tortillas. A game changer, dude, to me. Mm. Cactus Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see why one would like this. You know, it it tastes like they grilled it. 
it has like a kind of like an okra like consistency and then on top of that for someone who doesn't like eat meat or something like that like the vegetarians and the vegans i can see this going all the way up to the moon you know what i'm saying Taco hey bro you put that in a burrito and then you can put the chile relleno or mm -hmm. whatever mix nopal with uh, egg mm -hmm. killer combo right there coke break right here oh. <laughs> I'm in heaven, dog. This is only stop number one, man. I can only imagine what you got in store for us, man. Where are we headed to next? We're going to Cinco Puntos. Cinco Puntos. I'm gonna put them on, guys. Let's get it, let's get it. On. I'll see y'all in a sec. All right, man, we at the next spot, man. Los five puntos. Los cinco puntos. Los cinco puntos. Man, he said, say it right, man. If you're gonna say it, don't say it at all, man. All right, so why is this place so popular, man? What people normally get from here? So this, this spot has been around for years. People come here for their tamales, yeah. masa, okay. carnitas, chicharron, and everything, everything. It's, it's just like a classic local carniceria slash liquor. Okay, well, store. hey, I eat all it. Wait, so liquor so too? I think they got Oh, liquor. we might be no, in no, well, New Orleans, baby. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, remember we was back in New Orleans, they had all the good food spots was in the liquor stores and the gas station. That, that's the thing down this south. This is more carniceria. This is okay. more carniceria. Okay, 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 carniceria. Yeah, yeah. A meat butcher shop. A meat butcher shop. Yeah, got meat it. butcher shop. All right, yeah. well, let's head inside, man. See yeah. what they got going on. The smell hit me right away. I kind of whiff for that goodness gracious, man. You know, I feel like we gotta get some chicharron, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get that. What else we gotta get? Can you tamales? Yes. They have tamales. Ooh. Okay. Got to do it, my boy. I ain't had no, I ain't had no tamales in LA yet. You know. You what haven't saying? had them yet. I ain't had no tamales oh, not here in LA. Dude. Not in LA. Dude. You gotta get a piñata too. Let's get my piñata too. You ever had a piñata yet? Nah, no, right? I ain't had it. I actually have it. Uh, Modelo Oro. Modelo Sponsor Oro. Me. Go. <laughs> Modelo, if you see this, man, me and Denny here trying to get sponsored, bro. Just saying, just saying, just saying. I got the Modelo here. I got the Modelo drip, man. It was just coincidence, bro. Buenas tardes. ¿Qué recomiendo usted? Los taquitos también buenos. Taquitos de. Okay. Okay. I want whatever she just said, man. I heard. Vamos a probar. Vamos a dar una una libra, yo creo, de chicharrón. I just let him handle that right there. You know, it sounds like he know what he's talking about. You know. But this spot has been here for years. Again, family owned. Wow. People come here for their tamales. Yeah. All this stuff right here. If you've ever seen uh, Blood and Blood Out. No. See Blood and Blood Out. No. Okay, that's. They got a scene here or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it starts off the movie. His yeah. name is Miklo. Yeah. He comes here and he gets a tamal. Yeah. And he walks out. I'll show you the, the famous tree. It's just a classic wow. scene. It's, it's, that's how it starts now out. Now I gotta check it out. Look at these tortillas. Nice. All right, so if you see here, the prices aren't too bad. Each tamale, $2.79. And then we got the, uh, I'd say this pound of chicharron is the thing that's 18 bucks, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, a whole pound, a whole bag of chicharron, 18 bucks. $2.79 per tamale, man. Hey. And freshly made tortillas. Freshly made tortillas. A whole pack of tortillas. Whole pack of them. Going crazy. And a brown bag in the back. <laughs> you better get right, brother. All right, man. So look, you said we got to make a little uh, chicharron taco situation. Oh, look at that guac. Look at that. Freshly made guacamole. Freshly made, man. Now, I be seeing a lot of people on TikTok and social media. They be taking a chicharron on and dipping it in the guac and, yeah, yeah, and eating yeah. it that way. But we're doing something different We're going to do what we've been doing for years. In okay, the okay. Asadas. We're doing it the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, okay, this okay. ain't no trendy. This is something we've been doing. Let's if you get grew it. up going to carne asadas in the backyard, this is what your tios, your primos, this was, again, this is start off your snacks, yeah. start off your, your carne asada. We're going to have some chicharron ready to go, some tortillas, guacamole, yeah. salsas. Make yourself a quick taco. Bet that. Okay, okay. So, all right, walk me through this. I'm going to grab one of these right here. Yes. And just yeah. take me a little, a little chunk of chicharron or what? I would, I would How put much? some guacamole on there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. The look, look, look. I'm, yeah. I'm the, uh, the the student right now, you yeah, know what I mean? Put some guacamole on the bottom. Some some spread it, a little spread, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Now, a little piece of... Chicharron. A little piece of, you know. You can put the whole thing on there. You can put... Put the, the whole, whole or a piece yeah, of yeah, what? Yeah. Put the whole thing. Uh, the whole thing? Look, I'm going to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of yeah. chicharron, brother. Yes, yeah, sir. At the gusto? Oh, my there goodness. Go. And, and last but not least... Good. 
This make it go up right there, man. I love lime on everything, man. Since I done came to LA, you, I put lime on you, everything. You lime and some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably fire, actually. <laughs> Why you playing? All right, man. My boy. Go for it. Cheers, brother. Salute. Number two, Jure. Crunch is crazy. That crunch was crazy, bro. Mm. Is it a little chewy? A lot of chewy? <laughs> Let's know the deal. Yo. I can't even begin to tell you how satisfying that bite was, man. I've been seeing people eat this stuff for so long, and I've always wondered how it tastes, man. And it's glorious, okay? With the tortilla and everything. And you can try the chicharron with and the guacamole. Whole day. Mm -hmm. But with the tortilla, good guacamole, mm -hmm. salsa, it's just... Oh, it's fire, dude. man. No, this is legit, bro. I'm gonna join you. You see that people normally eat this at like, get-together, it's like the pre-thing. Mm -hmm. So what's up, you got... Uh, watching the game yeah. in the background. You got the boys. <clears throat> Modelo, chicharron, mm -hmm. it's all you need right here. Mm. It's like our chips and salsa, you know, but yeah. just chicharron. So what's up, man? You got a girl? You married anything? What's up? Married, dude. I, I, married? I'm lucky. Luckily, I got, got myself a good one. Wow. Straight from Michoacan. What, where? From where? <clears throat> you got to go there one day. It's one of the... You'll find some of the best food in Mexico in Michoacan. Yeah. And uh, she's amazing, dude. She's amazing. Wow. How'd you guys yeah. meet, bro? We met at church. Church. We met at church. Met at church. Bro. Okay, yeah. this is a church man right here. We met here. at church, dude. Wow. They said the Lord provides. I said, all right. Yeah. God, you better hook me up. You better hook me up. He knows what I want, what yeah. thy heart desires. Bro. Yeah, so look, man, I'm not married yet, bro. So I always like to ask, you know, married people, man, like, how'd you know, like, she was the one, bro? Like, how, what made you decide, you know what? I'm going to marry this woman. Like, what made you do it? I think we aligned with our principles, you know, and she had an amazing heart. She was, she's hella funny. Those who know my wife, she's hella funny. Mm. So number one, she was my friend, dude. Mm. And you know, we just, I just knew she was the one where this is the one I wanted to grow with. In life, financially, a family, everything. I wanted to knew, I knew she was the one when, you know, I think when our principles aligned, mm. you know, and, mm. and it was, so far we're going 14 years in, you 14 know? 14 years. years, 14 Jeez, years, 14 years, man. For me. 14? It feels, it feels like 14. Wow. I mean, it's underwater, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but uh, I'm, we're I, I mean, I, I hear marriages work, though, you know what I mean? They mm. do. They do. It ain't easy, though. Yeah? Wow. wow. So any advice you would give to, you know, any of the, us guys out here that are still trying to trying to find mm. find love? Pick a time, bro. I think when you find the right one, you, you're just going to know, man. Again, mm. you're going to know whatever you're looking for in a family, whatever you're looking for in a wife. That's what you want, you know? Yeah. It's, 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 it's the long run here. Yeah. So. No, nah, that's dope, man. Hey. Whoever you decide to marry, it's for the long run. You know? For real. <laughs> Cheers to that, brother, man. It's Cheers cheaper, to that. It's cheaper. If, I guarantee you make the wrong choice. It, it, it's going to be a, a, a decision you're going to regret for the rest of your life. So. Ooh. Preach. Preach, yeah, Danny. So. Preach. Keep this man. Keep his, the right uh, one. It's cheap. It's cheap to keep her, bro. So <laughs> not very real expensive if you choose the wrong one. This man is a foodie, a marriage counselor, <laughs> a preacher, everything else. Father. Last, uh, last person to be a counselor, bro. <laughs> Salute, my Cheers, guy. Cheers, brother. Salute, compa. Appreciate you, man. Uh, that's right, right there. <laughs> it's the famous tree over there. The you famous see that tree. The pino, the pine tree. Like, it's like a landmark. Uh, they call it the El Pino. Mm. El Pino. Wow. They, uh, give respect to that tree. They've tried to take it down, the city or city officials. Dude, people rise up for that, and that tree is just, it's just special. I don't know what it is, but it's, wow. just, it's just special. Dang. So it just goes with the whole beautiful day. It's, I mean, you can, you can see it perfectly. You got the pino right there. That right dude, there. Dude, you know? dude, I got to try these tamales, though, man, Let's for try. sure. Like a dollar, you have any? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my God. Oh, I got a... That was... Mm. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, Miss Lady. Yeah, go on and get your tacos. Of course. 
Of course. Sheesh. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I have not had a tamale since I've been in L.A., dog. I've only probably had tamales, like, maybe, like, twice in my lifetime, bro. What are tamales made out of, man? So they got the masa. Yeah. Right? And then normally they'll fill them with whatever meat of their choice. So this one's going to be beef. Beef. This one's going to be uh, queso y rajas. Nice. Which is like a cheese and uh, chile. Uh-huh. And this one's going to be dulce. Dulce. So like a dessert one. Okay. So, you're doing it right for your first time having sure. a tamale here in LA. All right, I'm going We're with the beef the right first. Spot. I'm gonna go with the beef first. Dang, so they just cook up like a big batch of them, just sell them all day, huh? Yeah, and considering it's already past tamale season. Yeah. I mean, there's sell. a season for tamales. Oh yeah, so it's like holidays, right? You got the yeah November, December, January. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with some salsita. Try them with the salsita. Hmm. Okay, so. I feel like I just take it mm-hmm. and eat it with my hand like this, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the way I eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with limon too. With yeah. limon too. I go crazy right. with it. Go for it. That's the move right there. There it is. I don't know if there it is. If, if no. ain't nobody doing that, I'm starting that trend right now there. Now you are. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> limon takes you to the moon. <laughs> you put that on anything, it's going up. Masa is like a corn situation, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Isn't it the same thing they make the, like, you can make tortillas out of that tortillas, too, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's just processed differently. Mm-hmm. And awesome. this is like and a corn they're husk. Do, they're, yeah, they're gonna do a little spread there, mm-hmm. wrap it. Yeah, I wonder why they use the corn husk. This is like the traditional thing to do. Certain parts of Mexico, sometimes uh, <clears throat> different parts in uh, Latin countries, they'll use uh, banana leaves, mm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it just depends. It just depends on part of I feel like if I go to Mexico, I need to go with you, man. You know, you're going to put me on. Like, I feel like if, have I, a good time. if I go by myself, we're going to have a good time. I'm not going to actually experience we're gonna it. We're going to have a good time. Mmm. There's a cheese in that. It's like a cheese. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the green. It's like a salsa. Mm-hmm. Normally, it's like a salsa verde or rajas. Mm-hmm. They have cheese inside of this one. That's fire. Now, I am very, very curious about this dessert one. I don't know what flavor. She said dessert. Maybe yeah. open it up and see. It might be pineapple. Is that common? Of, yeah. Like people yeah, make dessert? Pineapple, strawberry, Let's guava. See. Let's see here. Ooh, it looks like piloncillo. That piloncillo? And uh, brown sugar and raisins, it looks like. All right, well, I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the raisin part over here. I'm going to take the brown sugar part. That's all right. I prefer the savory ones for sure, man. Mm-hmm. Dude, this place. That's dope, man. Uh, so wait, what part of East LA are we in right now? What neighborhood is this? Do you know? They call this area like Cinco Puntos, Boyle Heights. Boyle Heights, Cinco yeah, Puntos, yeah. got it. There are Cinco Puntos on this street. Yeah. So that's why this spot is called Cinco Puntos. Cinco Puntos. Wow. Um, look, man, look. I ain't stuffed yet. You know we gotta go to one more spot. That's how we do it, man. What's the what's the finale, man? What you got left we from gotta you go right to Whittier here? Whittier Boulevard. Let's go do a. You got you can't come to East LA without going to Whittier Boulevard. Yeah. And uh, some of their famous food trucks. Okay. Well, so, hey, let's get some food trucks, go. man. Let's get it. So uh, we have arrived to the last spot, man. Where you got me at, Jason's right. Tacos? Right Jason's Tacos. Jason's Tacos, man. Al Pastor. Yeah, and yeah. A torta Cubana. Okay, you okay. Ever had a torta Cubana? I've never had a Torta Cubana, man. Ooh. Never, ever, ever. Get ready. Dude. I'm ready, man. Ready. I'm ready. They got the whole situation out here, man. They got the grill going. They got the trump over here. You know, we right here by the uh, the 99 cent store. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I love it, man. I love East LA, man. I'm an East LA cat now, dog. At least for the day. Mr. Jason, man. You gotta say what's up to the people, bro. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> you, look, you look great, man. This your spot, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. How long y'all been rocking out here, man? Yeah, like 10 years already, bro. 10 years. Y'all been in the game for 10 years selling the best tacos in the game. So, so talk to me, bro. When people come see Jason at Jason's Tacos, what do they have to try? The, the al pastor and la sal, check it out, look. Me yeah, yeah. Carbon, bro. Going crazy with it over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. What made you want to start your own truck, man? Uh, just, bro, I mean, the, the experience. I mean, when I was cooking, I was doing it for somebody else. I started doing it my own stuff. Yeah. You know, I, I just liked it. Started doing it myself and boom. Yeah. We are 10 years, you're going hard. <laughs> yeah, so look, man, I got a lot of people who watch this channel who want to start their own, like, food businesses, their own restaurants and trucks and everything. Any advice you got to those people, man? Just go for it, bro. Don't be scared. Go for it. Yeah. Best everything you got. 
and just put heart into it. You'll yeah. be good. But you also gotta know how to cook, man. You still yeah, gotta taste good. Obviously, you know what I mean. You gotta throw yourself out there. Try yeah, it yeah. Out. That's amazing, man. Look, I'm excited to try my man's stuff right here, man. For real, for real. Sheesh! Oh my goodness, look at this. I can already tell. I saw this from a mile away. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What'd you get me into, bro? This is like a. This is the size of a newborn baby, man. Oh my goodness. I told you. I told you. Get ready, bro. What? I told you. This, this thing got egg and. Hot dogs and layers. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane! Look, you know you're not this about is, to have me partake by myself. This, oh. That's all you. You said nah, you're ready. Nah, but he's <laughs> not. He's not. You. This y'all have right here. This for all week. Cause this is crazy, dog. Just Look at half. the layers on this, man. What's in this? We got beans. We got chorizo. We got milanesa. We got egg. We got weenie. We got ham, lettuce, cheese. Oh my god, dude, I'm about to be sleep, okay? God, dog, Cubano, to I've, I've never had anything like this, man. Got a little egg in there, a little crispy egg on the side, man. Woo-wee! It's a lot, it's a lot. All right, I'm gonna just go for it, man. Don't dislocate your jaw. For real, I always do that. Uh. <laughs> Okay. And it's smoking too. It's so bad, it's so good. It's so <laughs> bad that it's good, man. That is crazy. Yo, I swear to God, this thing is like a heart attack between two buns, but I love it. God, dog, no, dude, I swear to God, if I was like, Dude, I could eat this like Ooh. after the. Oh damn! Bro, <laughs> so good, making them cuss, Lord Jesus. Have you ever eaten a whole one of these? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could never. <laughs> this has got to be a stoner's dream, man. This is like a stoner's paradise right here, dog. Yeah, I don't know who invented it. But, <laughs> dude, they just said, let me throw everything in the kitchen. High, yeah. on the moon. High, high, high. <laughs> God, dog. Hey, ain't gonna cap. I like the little. I mean, got the salsa and everything, bro. This ain't even need no salsa, yeah. man. No. <laughs> ain't even need none. Look at that right there, man. Get some salsa going with it. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh my God. There you go, brother. Go for it. Oh. No more. No more. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, they got lemon if you even want lemon. They got lemon. People like you, they got lemon. <laughs> They got the limon. <laughs> Woo. Hey, that salsa got a nice kick to it, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even better, right? Certified banger, man. And you grew up eating this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. For real? Yeah. See, we ain't had this kind of stuff where I'm from, bro. Like, I didn't even grow up. I, I didn't get to try this stuff until coming here. That's why I be so passionate, bro, because it's like, it, it truly be my first time mm -hmm. trying a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Ah, dog. All right, look, I got one more thing, though. I gotta hit that uh, Al Pastor, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get that I gotta get that Al Pastor. That Jason, point. man. Jason, bro. That torture crazy with it, big dog. That torture crazy with it, big dog. You gotta give me something on that, man. Yeah, nah, that's lit. I ain't never had nothing like that, bro. Banger right there. Uh, it's, nah, that's a certified banger, man. <laughs> Y'all better come see, Jason. Yeah. What's a boing? You gotta try it. It's boing. Class, that's classic like LA a, right there. A boing, huh? It's like a mango, mango type of drink. Juice. Yeah. A boing. It's juice, right? So juice, I can shake it up. Juice, soda, yeah. Hey, hey, get it out. Oh, I got, I got, I got 30 times the charm. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First time. Sip, extra sugar. Yeah, like mango juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, definitely extra on the sugar for sure. <laughs> it's like mango juice, but I will say, I thought this was gonna be way thicker than it was, than it is. Uh, it's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. Sheesh! Yes, sir. Hey, you saw my boy? Hey, you saw him flip that mug at the end and let, yup. 
Yeah, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if it's Danny. I'm trying to see how he hook his up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hook mine up too. Red salsa. So you a red salsa kind of guy, huh? For yeah, for our pastor. Yeah. Let's do some red. I like to do both. Yeah. I'm a mixer. This one's good. Yeah. Go there you go. Go here. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then cucumbers are highly underrated. Highly, highly underrated. underrated. Really? Yeah, totally. These I do like because it. I think after each bite, it does give it like a. Like a little fresh. Yeah, little it's like freshness. a it's like a palate cleanser, right? Yeah. So they have the, you can always get the radish, right? But yeah. I, I, I like me a good uh, So you don't, you don't like that the- That one's got habanero and everything. That's delicious. Yeah. But I like the meat. I want to taste the meat right yeah. here and everything. So by all means, put some on. Yeah, I'm going to throw a little bit. You know what I mean? I love the little pickled onions, man. So do I, yeah. Hook it up. And you can't forget the- Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Look, I love tacos, man. People be asking me, what's your favorite thing? I be like, man, since I came to LA, I love street tacos, bro. Okay. So it's only right that we ended the day off with some street tacos, bro. Forget the talking, man. I'm gonna dive right on in that. Oh my God. Look at that. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Let me join you. Don't mind me. Dude, the crispy edges. He walking away because the crispy edges, dude. Mm. So many good Al Pastor spots in LA. There's definitely one of them up there. He's good. Look at him. That way. <laughs> That's lit. That's that way. This or the torta cubana? Oh, that's tough. Anyway, they're open till two in the morning. It don't matter the time of day you come to East LA, whether it's in the morning, lunch, or dinner, super late night. Yeah. You'll always find yourself a trompo, a food truck yeah. that's open late night. Yeah. I mean, this after the after an event, after your party, whatever in LA. Yeah. That's good, hits, man. right? It yes, hits. sir. That sauce is crazy too. I think if I had to choose, bro, I would go with. The, the tacos, yeah. man, because I would eat them more. You yeah, know what I mean? That exactly. torta, that's, a, that's a special event. <laughs> that's a special occasion, bro. Like, special I gotta event. be out of there, bro. These tacos, I would eat these faithfully. Like, whenever I'm in the area, this is a place I would definitely stop by, man. Mm -hmm. Look, Danny, bro, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing me around, man. Um, I think this is what LA is all about, man. The community, you know, meeting people, going to different places and trying different things. Everything's not just in Hollywood and WeHo and stuff like that, man. There's so many cool places like uh, where we are here at Whittier Boulevard, man. I'm sure you got some dope places in Riverside, man. So like I said, dog, I just wanna say thank you thank for showing you, me around and putting me on, dog. Thank you, dude. It's, it's super cool. I saw you coming up and to now share a taco with you, it's, it's special, dude. Yeah. It's special. These moments, it's, it's, it's one of a kind. And that's what having tacos is all about. Like you said, community in LA, that's what it's all about. So it's pleasure mine, dude. I'm super glad to meet you. And we'll have to do it again. For this sure, time, man. For you sure. Know you got to show me around Inglewood. Oh, Zeph, I got you, man. You, you know I got you, brother. You I got you. Around. For real, for real, show man. Me around, hey, man. if y'all get a chance, Keep doing definitely check out any of the spots that we visited today. Be sure to follow at Mr. Big's menu on all social media platforms. Like, comment, subscribe, and let a brother know. Where should I go next? Oh, what you say? Vamanos! Vamanos! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.